Hello everyone and welcome to Butterfly Dreams Crochet. We are here to do a craft and chat. Bring your project, bring you something to drink and come join me and let's craft and chat. Um, if you are watching the replay, thank you so very much. I go live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. However, I'm going live tonight because Brenda not Brenda, Veronica from Stills the Show Crochet, and Shelf is not doing her blingo tonight. So come and join me. Give everybody a little while to get in. I hope someone will join me. I'm actually working on a new project um, that will eventually be a pattern. Um... That that you see Grandma Eula wearing in the back is my newest one, which will be coming out um, not probably not next week, but the week after. Um, welcome in, Samaya. Welcome, welcome in, Ram Ramona Nita. And if I butchered that name, I am terribly sorry. Welcome in, welcome in. How are y'all doing tonight? And what are y'all working on? Welcome in, Kimmy Kim. How are you? How's the weather in Canada? Welcome in, Ingrid. How are you doing? I got my link pinned up at the top if anybody wants to come up and join me. Show me what you're working on. Just chat. Welcome in, Tammy, with Flowers Crochet Creations. Welcome in, Miss Glenda. Welcome in, Sis Dana. How are you? You're working on a mile a minute blanket. I hear those are a lot of fun and that they're easy to do and fast. Kim is speaking to everybody in the chat. Welcome in, Connie. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. Hey, Sissy. Welcome in. Okay. Now, after we leave this live tonight, Liz with uh, Live Talk with Liz will be going live. Hey, Christy. Welcome in. I got your messages. Thank you so much. I am 39 hours away from being monetized. Oh, Kim, you applied today for being monetized. Woohoo! Yay! Welcome in, Ivy. Welcome in. Ramona Nita, do you have a channel? Yeah, Kim, good. I am glad. Me and you right there together. You working on a new poncho pattern, says Dana? Good. I have that one wrote out already. Welcome in, Mimi Cat Do. How are you tonight? Good. Thank you, Christy. I have some videos that's going to be coming out next week, too. Some updates. Okay. What did everybody have for supper? My husband cooked for me today, so 
he cooked some fried cabbage and some candy yams and some baby back spare ribs. He cooked them in the oven and oh, they were falling off the bone. Yes, says Dana. I, I told you y'all got the bug biting. <laughs> when y'all encouraged me to do that very first pattern for the stitch marker. Wall hanger. Oh, Chris, you had an eight yet? And Connie says she had a sandwich. Wash rags is what I call them. Yeah, I call them wash rags too, Miss Glenda. <laughs> hey, Zach, welcome in. He had Wendy's for dinner. Samaya so had just water. Mimi Cat do had a seafood platter. Yum, fried hack, haddock, clam, shrimp, and French fries. Yes, I know, Kim. If it wasn't for Sis Dana and Brother Joe, we probably wouldn't be where we at today in our YouTube streets. <laughs> Joe's making burgers on the grill. Oh, that's going to be good. I'm also working on these. Um... Fan lace stitch, I think is what she's calling it. Fan lace tunic that she did the tutorial for. I'm actually working it up and writing out the pattern for her. Leftover spaghetti. Hey, leftover spaghetti is good. So this is what I've got done so far on one panel. And I'll be working on it some here tonight too. But I'm using the Karen Skinny Cakes on it. Um... I should be able to get away with just one cake since it's 700 and something yards in one. And the one I'm using is the frosted mint right there. So it's same weight yarn she used. Yeah, Dana and Joe's helped out a lot of us. Right, Kim, I feel the same way. If they hadn't been behind me, pushing me, and her and Granny did, and the rest of them encouraging me to um, write that pattern for that stitch marker wall hanger, I would have never done it. Yeah, so if y'all do not have Creatively Created Crochet Triple C, that is our sis Dana. She is amazing. She is wonderful. Hello, Mama J. How are you tonight? Um, I do have the link posted if anybody wants to join me. We just chatting and um, crocheting on our objects. Welcome in, Sunita. And um, I've started it. I'm going to see how it turns out. I'm going to try to come up with my first poncho. And I'm using the hipster cotton and the rainbow roller skates. Welcome in, Angela. How are you? You have fish, hush, pu hush puppies, french fries, and drinking water. Working on trying to knit a pair of socks. And she says hi to everyone in the chat. You hit the wrong button on your phone. Welcome in, Miss Lynn Como. How are you? Welcome in, Gina. Welcome in, everybody. I hope y'all hit those thumbs up on the way in. If you didn't, you can hit that thumb up on the way out. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Kim, you need some hipster cotton. I have, I think I got six of the colorways. Welcome in, Chandra. How are you? Now, if anybody here that is a content creator, if you want to want your link drop, just type CC in the chat and one of our wonderful, beautiful moderators will be glad to do that. 
Zach, don't feel bad. Some people just don't get the hang of crochet. Have you tried knitting? Knocked you out of the channel. It's okay. Laced you back in now. Yeah, I got my water here. I've been drinking a lot of water. I hadn't been feeling well the past couple of days. My husband or me, neither one. I've been having bad headaches. And I forgot I had some pain medicine in there from when they did the work on my teeth. And I took one. I had two different kinds. And I took one that didn't work, so I tried the other one. And it worked. It worked. Yeah. No, you're not letting everyone down, Zach. You just, you just got to, one thing about crochet, you're either going to get it or you're not going to get it. You're either going to have a passion for it or you're not going to have a passion for it. If you have a passion for it, don't give up. Keep trying. And if you would like to do some one-on-ones with me, let me know. I don't mind helping you. Hello, Katrina. Welcome in. Affordably Crafty, welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Yeah, you have to keep trying. You going to give diamond painting a go? Yeah. Diamond painting is good. I've done a little diamond painting, um, little small projects with my grandkids. They actually love it. We actually did a couple of bracelets. Um, and we did some other little things like. Um, and thank you, Connie, for dropping those links for them. Thank you so much. Um, did like little, little other little like one was a hot air balloon and a couple other little things. But I showed them how to do it, and I set them up on the laptop table, and they sat right here in the room with me, and they did it. And Katrina is speaking to Kim at Affordably Crafty and Zach and Kim at Kim's Crochet. And Affordably Crafty is asking her link to be dropped. And if you haven't checked out any of these channels, make sure you do. All of them are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful content creators. Make sure to join their family as well. And Connie's asking Mimi, how is she doing tonight? Yeah, Zag, if you want to do some one-on-one, -on -one, just let me know. We can link up and do that. Exha exhaust all your avenues before you just give up is what I'm saying. Ingrid would like her link to be dropped as well. Welcome in, Gina, a.k.a. Mama Bear. Mama G Bear. How are you tonight? Mimi Cat Do has not. Uh, if someone would drop her link. Welcome in, Christy. How are you doing with Christy's Creations? Yeah, Zach, we, we can do that. That's the purpose of having a YouTube channel so we can teach each other things that we have learned throughout our life of crocheting and stuff. And you never know, you, you might find that one person that really puts it to, to the point where you fully understand it. And Connie has dropped Mimi Cat Do's link. Y'all, please check her out. She goes live on Thursday nights at 9 Eastern Standard Time. Um, we have a busy schedule on Thursdays. Um, says Dana with Creatively Created Crochet goes live Monday through Friday every morning 
at 9 Dana, correct me if I'm wrong, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time, where she does Craft Hour. Then on Thursday, she goes live at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time for Craft Hour. Then again at 5.30 Central Standard Time for Making Meats. And then again, Thursday night at 10 o'clock. <laughs> she also goes live every night at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Can we say busy, busy, busy? And then, Connie, I have not learned your schedule yet. So if you want to put your live schedule in the live chat, that is fine with me. And Mimi Cat, do I know she on Thursdays after Dana? Then um, Sandy would love to write crochet goes on at seven. Central Standard Time, which is 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then at 8 o'clock, after Sandy, um, Rosalie with Yarn It Out goes live. And then after Rosalie, Mimi Cat Do goes live. And that's on Thursdays. And I think I did pretty good. <laughs> and I go live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then on Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday, Granny D with Knit, Pearl, and Squirrel goes live every day at 5 Eastern Standard Time. Right, me and Dana, Sandy, Yarn It Out, then her. And that's on Thursdays. Welcome in, Brenda, with Brenda the Newbie Crocheter. How are you? Oh, yeah, got a horrible head cold. I think that's what I had because my ears were stopped up. My daughter was kind of worried about me because it's kind of the symptoms that she had when she had COVID. But I've never lost, never ran fever, never lost my smell or taste or anything like that. My husband actually went and got the Moderna vaccination Thursday. So he's been a little under the weather, weather Friday and Saturday. It feels better today. We've actually been outside getting all our fishing gear together. Everybody's speaking to Brenda. But Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Granny D with Nip Pearl and Squirrel goes live at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And on Saturday and Sundays at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's okay, Connie. I appreciate you doing it. Yeah, it, it made me feel bad. I've had that, like that sinus pressure headache where it just, where you bend over, it feels like the top of your head is about to explode. Yeah, I'll make sure all these links that Connie is dropping that y'all make sure to check it out. I do have a night bite set up, but I don't think it's working right. And Connie said her live schedule is Monday at 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and Saturday at 1 p.m. And this Wednesday, we will be playing live bingo at Connie's. Just another stitch. I know she has a um, video out there with specifics where you leave your numbers. I would love to, Connie. Just let me know. Yeah, Brenda, I really hope you start feeling better. Um, Connie, if you want to drop your link to that video about your Just Another Bingo, um, that way people can follow it. And if they hadn't signed up to play, and hers is called Just Another Bingo, um, they can follow that link to go and First of all, subscribe to our channel if you're not. Um, watch the video, find out all the rules, the, the requirements and everything, and leave your numbers in that video down below. <clears throat> okay, Connie. Yeah, a lot of pressure across your eyes and forehead and stuff, yeah. Now, what I found that has really helped me is Claritin D. But you have to show your driver's license to get it. Well, 
Right, Mama J. No, I'll be sharing it, Dana. Actually, I meant to grab it before I went live, and I forgot all about it. So this that Grandma Eula is wearing is going to be my new pattern. It's, got, it's called the Spotted Owl Pocket Scarf. Um... And this is used, make use, and I made this using the same stitch that I used for the um, stitch marker wall hanger. I didn't do it lengthwise. I did it um, on the narrow end and went up and over because I wanted the stitches to be seen a certain way on it. Um. And I got its name from the yarn that I used. And I used the Premier, Premier Woods. I bought this yarn when it was on sale. And it's been sitting back there <laughs> behind me. And I kept been wondering what I was going to do with it. And I finally said, oh, I know what I can do with it. I would actually started this a long time ago. Well, after I put out the first tutorial on how to work this stitch, then another content creator came out with a pocket scarf with a similar stitch, but hers was different. So I kind of got frustrated and I ripped the whole darn thing out and I caked up all my yarn. But that's why it's important to come to lives because you learn so much from each other. I was encouraged. Welcome in, Jeanette with DIY Life. How are you? Um, you're encouraged to continue on regardless because there are so many stitch books out there. Um, I know a lot of us have the same stitch books and everything else, but it's something about it that will be different from another content creators. And this is definitely different. So I used the Premier Mirror Woods in the colorway Spotted Owl. <laughs> and I'm going to show it to y'all up close where y'all can see it better if my camera focuses. There it goes. This is a medium weight number four, y'all. It's 100% acrylic, but look how soft it is. It's just very, very soft. And it's a loosely wound yarn. It's like they've taken the strands and just barely twisted around. I got a, I got some right here I can show you. <clears throat> it's just three strands and they're loosely twisted around each other. So it will kind of split. Now you can use any four weight, three weight yarn. Welcome in, Miss Linda. How are you? I know you are off to bed. Have a good night and thank you for stopping by. Welcome in, Melissa Fuller. How are you? Um, but you can use any four weight yarn in any color combination that you want. I thought this would look good with a pair of khaki pants and a uh, brown shirt or cream color shirt to wear with it. Or you could wear it with a pair of blue jeans because it does have a little blue in it, too. Welcome in, Mandala Sparkle. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. No complaints here. Now, if you'd have caught me yesterday or Friday, that would have been a different story. Um... My head finally did stop hurting yesterday. I was able to get all the laundry done. My husband actually fell asleep in the recliner. And he's always laughing at me because I sit in the chair and nod. And he calls me an old lady and says, I'm taking my old lady naps. <laughs> and after he took his nap yesterday, he said, well, I guess I don't officially got old now because I just took a nap. And he took about an hour long nap. It's okay, you hear better better late than than never. And the pocket to make the pockets. 
I wanted a contrasting color. And just so y'all can see what you need. Now for the, the scarf itself, you will need probably about... I had nine of these. I got to weigh this one to get the exact yardage. And I had used... I had caked up six of them. And this is a cake here that didn't get used except for a little bit out of it for my fringe. Because I did go back and add fringe to it on the bottom there. I haven't blocked it or nothing so the ends will want, that end is want to curl. but And I didn't put an edge around it because I thought it looked good the way it was because of the way I did the sides. Um, so you're probably going to need... I would say six skeins just to be on the safe side. Which comes up to roughly about a thousand and twenty yards. You're not gonna need the full six skeins though. You might need a little bit for the fringe. Um, but I use the premier anti peeling everyday worsted. In the color cream for the pockets and this is what I had left so you have one skein of that will work fine and this is a hundred and fifty three yards so I do have it wrote out I just got to get it typed up and insert some pictures and finish the tutorial on it Only because it's not fully made with that cable stitch. There's parts of it that's some is different, and it's where the pockets go. And then, of course, for the pockets itself, because I made them like an envelope. And the button I used is a one and three eight inch or thirty four millimeter button that I got from. Um, Michaels, they had them on clearance for a dollar. And y'all, DOY Life is Jeanette. Um, she also has a channel called DOY Creations, um, which is her crochet channel. DOY Life is her life channel where she shows us cooking, she takes us on walks with her, and she just shares her life with us. Make sure to check out both of her channels and um become part of her family she is amazing 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 and i do have the link pinned at the top if anybody wants to come up and show what y'all working on that's perfectly fine by me so I'm going to try to have this done and completed by Friday. And since Dana is speaking to everybody and Connie has dropped Jeanette with DOY, DOY Life's link. Yeah, Zach, let me ask you a question. What size yarn are you trying to learn with and what size needle? What size hook? Welcome in, Life and Stitches. How are you? Oh, Ingrid, I don't get Premier there in South Africa. Yeah, I think what they limit to. Does Premier deliver to Canada? Five millimeter yarn and hook. What size hooks do you have, Zach? You did it again with the link. <laughs> Jeanette, I just made you a moderator. You can drop your own links. 
So y'all do get Premier in Canada. And as far as I know, they still have they still have not released their um hipster cotton or their chameleon on their website. They do finally have the chameleon showing on their website. Did y'all see where they had their, was it their um, anti-peeling everyday worsted three for eight dollars? That's the neatest that you seen him a lot to use your 10 millimeter hook. It's okay, Connie. That happens to us sometimes. Because I actually finished this. I actually only had maybe up to here done yesterday. And I finished all of it except for this part yesterday. And I got up this morning. And after... I did what I had to do and everything. I finished it and made the pocket and put it all together and then came in here and wrote the pattern out. You ordered some Ferris wheels, cherry on top from Lion Brand back in February and I only received it on Friday. I was beside myself with excitement. Wow, you ordered it in February and you're just now receiving it. That is a long time, Ingrid. No, Zach, you're not a bad student. You working on the B challenge from Lady Bird Loves, but I just got started. Um, Jeanette, is it a time limit on that? Because I saw where this uh, Priscilla from Distinctive Crochet did it, and she did it in a poncho called the Butterfly um, Ponchette. She named it after me, which I was I was amazed, but I got to try to make it. <laughs> Never worked with beads before on crochet. Ivy says, I think Zach would do great at chain stitch with beads and make necklaces and bracelets. Hmm. All right, don't give up, Zach. We'll see what we can do. Romanita said, wow, OMG, that's so that's too long for a delivery order. Yeah, that is. Sometimes it takes them two to three weeks here, too. But that was months. Okay, Connie. End of June. Yeah, I'm I'm still working on my cardigan. I want uh from yours, Jeanette. Jeanette has a uh, cardigan crochet along going on on her channel if anybody would like to join it because there is no time limit but I'm over halfway through with it which I'm going to do an update video next week welcome in Ala Jo Andrea how are you love you too thank you you tired I, yeah Mama J says she'll be right back And she says, you got this. Right, Zach. We're not going to let you give up without a fight. Like they say, a quitter never wins and a winner never quits. So. And I'm actually in my book now fixing to try to work up my first poncho pattern. And I'm using the hipster yarn. I've just got my ring started right now. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And then look, you know, I put in the put in that video I did about if anybody knows how to do the math that you need. Like if a stitch pattern calls for so many, do you just do the foundation chain and you leave the extras off or whatever? So Priscilla came back with a challenge that she did that she got tagged to do about how you do it in the book that she showed i felt kind of bad 
Because I have the same darn book. <laughs> so I got my book out and I went to reading it. And sure enough, stitch patterns in circular work. It says when working in the round, there are no side edges. And therefore, you need only the number of stitches in the stitch pattern itself. The, this affects the number of chains you start out with. So yeah, it's right here in this book. So I've been reading this book. Got to educate yourself. That's what my husband always says. <laughs> yeah, Jeanette, that hipster yarn is pretty. Um, I'm working in the rainbow roller coaster one. Now I did order some of the cotton sprout in the solid colors to see would it go good with it that way you could do some of the solid colors and stuff like that um you can see i ain't even opened this yet i got two more colors sitting on that shelf right there but this is bright pink and i don't know how that would look with that it's a little lighter of a pink than what's in there but it might go with one of the other ones now this um to me and it's all on the same level yarn this is a the cotton sprout is a three and it's 230 yards too and it's 100 percent cotton Twisted the same way as the hipster cotton is. Now, to me, this lavender goes really good with the roller skate. Rainbow roller skate. But I got it in lavender, bright pink, purple. Turquoise. And the other one back there is like that uh, green and te uh, teal. And then I got it in yellow. So, and I got it in peach. Try to look at the colors behind me and try to match it up to them. Oh, my hat, the hipster yarn is just gorgeous. Yeah, it is. It's it's real, real. I'm not one to jump on new yarn when it first comes out. I like to everybody else be the guinea pigs, but when I seen that yarn in person, I said, ooh, uh-uh, I'm going to be the guinea pig this time. Because <laughs> it is just, Premier really outdid their self with it. You're in love with the hipster life in the stitches, yeah. Welcome in, Bestie. How are you doing tonight? Your head feeling better? I was says, Dana, you got a new email? Everybody speaking to Sandrine. That's my roll tie, buddy. We roll tie. No, that's football, y'all. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make sure, Dane. Got to be able to get in touch with you. I'm drinking water out of one of my cups my daughter made. We do sell my merch if anyone is interested. We have those, we have cups like this. And we also have stainless steel 20 ounce tumblers and stainless steel 8 ounce tumblers. And of course, shirts. And we have also had several people to commission us to do their shirts for them. So. And she has done everybody's orders that we have. And she will be mailing them out tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. Yes, tomorrow. Oh, you had to shed a tear as a diehard LSU Tiger. Well, guess what? 
life in stitches are you do are you from are you, do you live in louisiana I know uh, Connie is probably a diehard LSU fan because she lives in Louisiana. I used to be a diehard LSU fan because I was born and raised in Louisiana. But after moving to Alabama, and Alabama kept beating LSU. All right, Zach, just send me an email, Zach. You moved to Tennessee after Katrina. Yes. I moved to Alabama in 97. Then I became a diehard Alabama fan. Lynn Como, you a diehard LSU fan? Yeah. Uh, Christy. They had not got their order in. I was trying to remember what she said. They had not got their order in yet at the vinyl shop. She is going to go back tomorrow and see um, what they have for the purple cups. And if not, I'm going to try to find some and order some. And Gina Barnett says, Life in Stitches, we forgive you, Roll Tide. Oh, we got another roll tied in the house, Sandrine. And she's saying, go, Lynn. Yeah. And anytime LSU and Alabama play, I always say, may the best team win. And I guess that's with any, you know, any team that they play. The best team going to win. Less is rigged. Christy said, roll tide, baby. We look, look at all the roll ties in the house. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for college football to start back up. I don't watch NFL or none of them. You're in Chattanooga, so you're surrounded by Bama, Georgia, and volunteers. Yep, you sure are. We had a couple of boys from our local high school that went to um, the Tennessee Volunteers. And Ivy B. Crate says, oh, don't, wait a minute, don't forget about me. I'm here too. Roll, tie, roll. Sandrine said, Christy, you know what to say. Welcome in, HD. How are you doing this evening? Yeah. So college football is the only football I watch. And I was very happy when um, New Orleans Saints won the Super Bowl that year now. Because I think that's what really, really, really. Says Dana, if you put Boo in the chat or Brother Joe on your channel, put Boo in the chat. <laughs> um, I think that's what really helped bring back New Orleans in that area after Katrina. They needed that win after Katrina. Yes, life and stitches. Y'all did. Y'all needed that as a city for sure. Right, Sandrine. That's got to be Brother Joe putting that boo with the thumbs down. Oh, Andrea, you have family in Birmingham. Sandrine and I are not far from Birmingham at all. She's actually closer to Birmingham than I am. But it takes me about an hour, 15 minutes, hour, 30 minutes to get to Birmingham, depending on how fast I drive. <laughs> Jeanette says, our Chicago Bears are going to get it together one of these days. Yeah. Yeah, and I love the Saints too, Gina. Ola Joe, Dana sent you an email. And y'all from Eufaula, Alabama. Okay. That's down south way a little bit, but yeah. So if you're at Ola Joe, if you're ever, ever in Birmingham, you've got to let us know. I would really love to come and meet you. Sandrine says 45 minutes for her to Birmingham. Yep. 
When Christy says the bears. <laughs> And says Dana Ollajo says she will check. Thank you. Yeah. And Christy, yeah, you're fairly close to Birmingham. I think from where you are, Christy, and where I am, Birmingham would be a perfect meetup place for us. We got to get your ankle feeling better, though. <laughs> I lived on a canal in Metairie. Lost everything. Everything happens for a reason, though, no matter how hard. Yes. Now, I've heard different stories about the levees. I heard that they actually didn't break, that they were actually blew up because they wanted to get rid of the Ninth Ward so they can come in and build all these immaculate uh, apartment complexes and different things. Uh, and all of that. So, Maya, you have family in Otagaville, Alabama? I'm about 30 minutes from Otagaville. I go through Otagaville every time I go to Prattville. I know, Ola Joe. I wish I'd have known you then, too. Wow, Samaya, so you have family. Are you from Alabama or you just have family in Otagaville? Well, sorry about that. That was my sister. Let me send her a text right quick so she don't call back to back. Unless, unless something's wrong with my daddy and then I'll put you on hold. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, y'all. Not my daddy, but my niece. <laughs> She's having another baby, and she can't keep nothing down, so she want to know what she could take. Oh, wow, Abby. That's great. See, I don't follow the softball or baseball or basketball, but I follow their football. Yeah, you should be walking by now, um... Chris, you might have fractured it. Has the swelling gone down in it? Welcome in, Natural Nene. How are you doing? Welcome in. Oh, Romanita says she hoped the Chicago Bears wake up from their hibernation. She said they haven't had a win since 1980. Yeah. Oh, your dad's from Alabama. Okay. Welcome in, Pat. That's fine. We, we got another hour and ten minutes. Granny D, I think I spoke to you. I said you must have dozed off and took a nap. <laughs> you met a guy ten years ago hitchhiking in Ohio. He had a deep southern accent. I asked him where he was from. He was like, I'm from Otogaville, Alabama. I told him, right. 
then and there I said we family <laughs> yeah I'm I'm 30 minutes from Otagoville Otagoville is 27 miles from my house they got one little convenience store they had two and one burns got one little convenience store and one little restaurant <laughs> Hard to stay awake. Yeah, I know what it is. I know how that is. That's how we were yesterday. My husband actually took a nap, but I didn't. Everybody speaking to Granny D. Granny D is who I say goes live on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on Saturday and Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on Saturday and Sunday, she usually opens up her panel. And allows people to come up and join her and show what they're working on. Since you don't have any swelling, Chris, yeah, you might need to go and have an x ray or a CT or an MRI done of it to make sure it's not fractured. And since Dana Ola Joe got your email and sent you a message back. And Miss Pat Dancer says, Hi, Sugar Plum Granny D. Nala Joe speaking to Granny D. Sending her virtual hugs. He was taking the phone off the clamp. Yep. So, Kimmy Kim with Kim's Crochet and Knit Supply for Monetization. I'm 30, excuse me, 39 hours from being monetized. So, Hopefully, by the end of the week, welcome in, CJ. How are you? Excuse me, I got hiccups. I, I, I didn't ask God why I ain't give them to me because I ain't growing taller. I'm growing wider. If he's going to give me the hiccups, at least let me grow taller. <laughs> I'm just drinking water. Yes, yeah, so Kim is being monetized and I will be next. Welcome in, Miss Janice. How are you? So and Granny D, I'm still working on that small stitch blanket that I was doing right here for your moss stitch challenge. Yeah. That's the buddy end of it. So now I gotta add another row of purple, and then this is one whole cake of my 99 cent yarn that I got from Michaels of the Karen Sprinkle Cakes. And this is in the birthday cake colorway. And I'm Combined it with the Burnett Salty Chunky Tweed. And High Ascent. It's called High Ascent Tweed. I thought it went good together. So I still have. I know I got to the end of the week to get that done. So I will probably work on it some more tomorrow evening. I'll probably finish it tomorrow. I did learn in that working with that um Karen sprinkle cakes that that wool that's in it bothers me. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, Natural Nene. <clears throat> they have four cakes of it, and I said, "Well, I'll do something with it." Not knowing that I was going to be allergic to the wool that's in it. Well, I'm not going to say allergic. It does make me itch, so I guess that would be allergic. Don't break me out like Red Heart does, though. So, and that moss stitch is fun and easy to work with when you use a bulky weight yarn because this is a um, the Karen Sprinkle Cakes is a six, and that's a six. So It'll make somebody a nice little throw. <laughs> you know, I thought about donating it to the nursing home. 
Why would you put in time out, Jeannie? I did something wrong. Somebody is, might be on their phone, Ingrid, and accidentally put you in time out. You're chatting now. Was you not able to chat for a little while? Let me go back through the messages and see. Oh, I see you were putting time out. Granny D accidentally did it. She was trying to get her phone out of her clamp. Welcome in, Ellie. How are you? Burn that blanket yarn is real good because normally it's polyester. Um, I don't have any in here. But this is the um, Burnett Salty Chunky Tweed. And it's 100% acrylic. No, 97% acrylic and 3% viscose. But that's all the tweed part of it. Now what I like about the tweed of this and the tweed of that Karen Sprinkle Cake is your tweeds don't fall off like it does on a lot of it. And crocheting and listening, good. Yeah, Ingrid, that's what happened. Granny D was trying to get her phone out of her um clamp and accidentally deleted and put you in timeout. <laughs> no, you didn't do anything wrong. You're back now. And I can always go back and fix any mistake that they make. Sandrine is wanting to come up. I'm trying to add you. There you go. Always in the bed. Lord, it's a wonder you ain't got bed sores. I get out of bed. I was at a graduation yesterday. I'm tired. Sissy's back. Chandra's still here. Welcome in, Jamie. How are you doing? Yep, so I want to ask y'all something. Have y'all noticed on your lives that you're not getting a lot of watch hours? Kim, have you noticed that with your lives? And I know somebody said something the other night about they only allowing so many thumbs up. And I got 36 thumbs up now. I just wanted to see. Well, I'm probably not going to be able to see it on my phone. And have y'all noticed that they're putting watch hours on your videos within an hour or so of you releasing them? You see 37, 38. Oh, well, people are thumbing up then. Yeah. I've just been noticing it. I don't I don't know if it's me or just like the one I did for two hours and four minutes. Okay. Yeah, it said I was just wondering because the watch hours that it was showing was not the watch hours that it should have been based on my my thoughts. You only have 1.8K. Y'all, if y'all um will go over to Granny D's with Nick Pearl and Squirrel with Granny D Thompson and watch her videos. Leave her running. Um, um, she needs some watch hours. But it's no limit on thumb. Yeah, I didn't think it was, says Dana. How can they limit? The only way that would happen is once you reach a certain number of thumbs, they disable the thumbs up button. Katrina has you going now, Granny D.
I think what we're seeing, what I'm seeing on the lives at first is the is the watch hours that you get from people watching the replay. You've been binging several, probably Granny D's, yeah. So, because all mine are up now. And now that I'm seeing them, I'm like, well, why, why am I not over 4,000? <laughs> because I know we work hard to do our lives to get our hours up. But, you know, YouTube learns all that stuff and everything. Yeah, your subscriber count will be all over the place. Mine mine goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. If you're not in the live, Ellie, um, if you're not in the actual live, it's always good to go back and watch the replay because you do get credit for people that watch the replay. Yeah, see, I don't understand that, Chandra, because... People that I have my notification bell set for says Dana was one of them. I had the bell turned on. I wasn't getting my notifications or anything. And I redid the bell, still wasn't getting them. And she told me I was going to have to unsubscribe and resubscribe and do it all over again. And then that did work. Welcome in, Sandra D. Crochet. How are you? Give it a day or two, Connie, because mine dipped a lot on one day and then was back up the next day. And I did notice that uh, YouTube said that they're having some monetization problems from May the 8th through the something. Um, If you go to your... Welcome in, Vic. Uh, she's not in there. That's the wrong one, Jean. If you go to your YouTube studio, down at the bottom is usually where they have the little little problems that they You've missed members meetings. You can always go back and watch those under um, Patreon. Sandra D says, hi, Sandrine. Welcome in, Miss Nancy with Nancy's Hooked on Crochet. How are you? Sandrine, what you working on? I'm, I'm rolling some yarn. I'm rolling some yarn. That I, oh, had on a, that I was doing a pattern on, but I want to change it up, so I'm taking this off. It may they may go back up tomorrow, Connie. Um, but I I have noticed that we have subscribers that subscribe just for like when we play Dream Go, Train Go, Joe Go, all of that. People will subscribe just to play. And then once it's over with, they unsubscribe. That's crazy. I know. I wish they wouldn't do that because it does affect your analytics in YouTube. Because they're being counted. Then when they unsubscribe, it's taken away. And Connie says, hi, Sandrine. How are you tonight? I'm okay. Who is that? Uh, Connie, just another stitch. Oh, hey, Connie, girl. And this Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, we will be playing Dream Go Bingo. I, I, will, put, I will put that, that link up to the video that you need to watch. And put your numbers in. You have until... Tuesday at noon to post your numbers in this video. After that, you'll have to wait till next month, which next month's Dream Go Bingo will be played on my birthday. June the 29th. How old are you going to be? 48. Oh, you doing a 48 club, girl? Yeah. Yeah, be 48. Yeah, caught up with me. Oh, 
I'm pasting that link to that video, y'all. There it is. And that link will take you to the Dream Go Bingo update video. Make sure to watch it. Leave six numbers, 1 through 75, on that video and that video only. I do have it, your numbers. Um, I hadn't really been on YouTube much this weekend because I hadn't been feeling good. But I will go in and heart all of the ones that have numbers on them and let you know that I got them. Liz said, that's why I don't do the bingos, you ladies. Rock for real. <laughs> and Liz will be going live at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time right after we get off. Sandra D. Crochet, if you left them on that Dream Go Bingo up video update, I do have them. Right, Granny D. I'd soon if you look, if you only subscribe and just play Dream Go, I'd just rather you not subscribe at all. And if you're gonna subscribe and stay subscribed, that's fine. And I think doing it the way it's fixing to be. Sabrina. No, I hadn't seen Sabrina. Well, thank you, Granny D. My birthday is actually June the 29th. Oh, that, that comment was for Chandra up above. Your birthday is May the 25th, um, Chandra. Angela says, she, Angela Wright says she'll be 58 in July. When I get large and in charge like you are, Jeannie, I'll only be doing bingo for my members because that's crazy. Yeah, it is. But I think the way that I'm doing it now is going to weed that out, Mama J. Because I will not be taking numbers during the live anymore. If you did not put your numbers on Dream Go Bingo update video, you will not be able to play. And... um. One week me prior to Dream Go Bingo being played, I will release a little short video for everybody to put their numbers on that video for the next month's uh, bingo, Dream Go Bingo. So I think that's going to weed them out because you're not going to know that I put the video out if you're not subscribed because you're not going to get notified. That's right. So I'm, I'm hoping, Mama J, that that will help it that will help it eliminate those that come and subscribe because a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend told them about it and that i was live so they come over subscribe put their numbers in the chat well that's not gonna work anymore yeah because from 7 to 7 10 or 7 15 i will be greeting everybody welcoming everybody in going over whatever i got going on at that time and then we will begin to play and that's it. And and I've got some um egg crates saved up, Mom J. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. It is a live bingo, Ellie. It is live, seven p.m. Central Standard Time. You'll submit six numbers. It used to be five. I changed it to six since I'm no longer allowing numbers to be given during the chat. Um, because we have plenty of time to do six numbers. I actually pulled balls out of a bag. And what the number range from? From what? The One way? through 75. One through 75, everybody. And you keep up with your own numbers. And if you get all six of your numbers called, you put drink go in the chat. And I always put it in there, but I don't never win. 
Yeah, if you see Sandrina in chat and she's in her dream, go just ignore it. <laughs> Don't ignore it. I won. She just, she treat me like a stepchild. I won. Yeah. So I'm hoping that way solves that issue with people subscribing and unsubscribing. Because I do click you on the side. I did win. She already gave me my prize, though, but I just like to put and it And you know, um, YouTube Studio tells us how long you've been subscribed to our channel and stuff. <laughs> hey, uh, Brother Joe. No, you didn't win. Not tonight. Yeah, Granny D. Sandrine being like Brother Joe. Yep. No, really, I won. She already gave me my prize. I just like to put it in there again and again. Oh, uh, Gina, you wouldn't have no issue seeing my balls. Oh, yeah, you won't have no issue seeing these balls. Let me see she if I can find them. Right, Mama J, if you if you don't see your numbers in that video, you need to resubmit them. Because I will not verify your numbers during live chat. Can you see that, Gina? I can see that all the way here in Tuscaloosa. <laughs> We have yellow balls, green balls, white balls, blue balls, and red balls. And they're all in this one big bag. Oh, Gina says, you know, they she played last time. So, um, Jeannie from Jeannie's Crochet Creations, I believe is her channel name. Her name is spelled exactly like mine, which I found very exciting because... I don't find too many people that spell their name like mine. Um, she was having a hard time seeing the other ones that I had, so we got bigger balls. We like big balls. And I cannot lie. <laughs> and Kimmy Kim says, Yay, I love colored balls. Yeah, we have all kind of balls. That's that's Sissy Liz saying that. And Mama J says, I, 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 hey, Joe, I see you. Did you, Joe? No, Mama J, he, he didn't win. Joe did win my first Dream Go Bingo that we played. He did win it. And the second time we played, he set out because he wanted to give everybody else an opportunity to win. Like, he was going to automatically win, y'all. <laughs> but he speaks his winnings into existence because he was on a winning streak there for a while. And my 2K giveaway video will be coming out next week, too. It's going to be exciting. Chandra is giving away one of her dolls. Um, Brenda is giving away one of her hooks. V is giving a set of stitch markers away. Crojo, uh, Laura with Crojo, Crojo Corner is giving away one of her planners, which will look like this. Now, when we discussed that, this was her downloadable planner. I know she's came out with her planner book on Amazon, so I'm not sure. I, I'm going to say it won't be that, but you will be able to get the download link and download it. And that's what it looks like. It's real nice. And as you can see, you can put it in a binder. Um, Christy Tarley did win Dream Go. Uh, most time on my Dream Go, we have three or four winners. Depends on how many people are close to winning again um, after the first person wins. And since Dana's going to be giving away one of her patterns, um, 
So it's going to be a big 2K giveaway. I think I want to be a co-host so I can keep up with the numbers. License, do you love your new Crojay Planner? Crojo Planner, did you get the one that you download and print off yourself, or did you get the one from Amazon? Welcome in, Jennifer with Froggy Winter Knitting. How are you? How are you doing? How's your dad? Okay, Connie, thank you so much for being here and dropping those links for me. Christy says she hopes to get to play. Yes, because I know you'll be at work. Froggy says she is good. That is always good to hear. And Christy says she love, love, loves hers. Yes. You got yours before I get mine. <laughs> Christy Turley says bye, Connie. Have a great night. So you got yours before she launched the book on Amazon. <clears throat> yeah. It's amazing. I love it. And if you run out of it, you can always print more of it. I have my, um, says Dana patterns in here I got to work on. And I'm still working on my piglet blanket. And you must have got along well on that project. You're still winding. Welcome in, Angela. How are you tonight? But yeah, this, this that Premier Mirror Woods is good to work with. It's, I love it, but it will split on you. And that's only because it's loosely wound. And I'm enjoying this hipster yarn right now. It, it's 100% it's cotton, but it's easy to work with. And this is like the hook that you would get in the 2K giveaway from Brenda. Now, I don't know what size. How you going to give it away? You don't know what size it is. I had not got all that information yet. That's why the video won't come out till next week. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what stitch marker V will give because I guess she'll send them to the winner. Oh, uh, Stephanie, you're going to love Dana's patterns. I have got to make the one that she named after me, Spread Your Wings Poncho. I actually gave her that name in honor of my mom and my grandmother. Oh. When she showed it to us that night in the live and I seen that part oh. coming down right here, it reminded me of wings. And she had messaged me and asked me about it. And um, I said, it looks like wings. And I said, spread your wings. So Maya Richards, you, let me drop her. Brenda, if you're still listening and you're up to it, she might be on sleep by now because Brenda's under the weather. Let me put her link on there. You can email her and let her know. Um, she does them in different hooks. Um, so whatever hook style you like, if you like the boy hook style, which are tapered or the incline hooks, which are Susan Bates, just let her know what you prefer. I had her make a whole set in <coughs> Susan Bates and I love them. Um, yeah. 
yeah the the spread your wings poncho that that was in honor of my mother and my grandmother um my grandmother taught me to crochet and my mom crocheted as well but she used the crochet thread and i lost her in 2013 I lost my grandmother in 2005. Sandra, you ordered a sign from Brenda. Yeah. If y'all see all the woodwork going on behind me, my sub, let's see, subscribe, like, and my butterfly dreams sign, all that came from Brenda. Brenda's a newbie crocheter. And she also does hook blocks. like this and you're thinking oh well, that's just a piece of wood that's nice so i like this because it comes in handy when you're doing tutorials you have special vintage yarn for that pattern oh <laughs> Christy, that's gonna be pretty Yeah, Kim, uh, she, uh, the whole set she made me was in Susan Bates. And she made the polymer clay match the hook color. Ooh, that's a crazy commercial. I love them. And if you watch her video on how she does it, You would be like, yeah, that's well worth the money. Dang it, I forgot I cleared my watch history. So I could go back and um, replay videos so they can count again. <laughs> I'm going to drop her link. Oh, Granny D, did you ever show it in one of your lives? I'm going to share how she gets her hook so smooth and stuff. And in that video, in the description, it's her email and the price of her hooks as well. So you can get all that information in one. And if you're not subscribed to her channel, please go subscribe. And also watch her video that she has about all of her wood products and stuff too. I'll have to go back and watch to find that one, Granny D. I'll have to watch all of them to find it, but that's okay. You need that time, don't you? And y'all, this is what we do. We help everybody. And I hope that's her link that I just put in there. Welcome in, Shirley Cross. How are you? I hope that's hers and not mine. Let me go check. <laughs> yep, that's it. Granny D, you ain't right tonight. Worse than usual. Yeah, she makes some beautiful stuff. She did says Dana two signs. One of them is where the letters are like 3D. And the other one is like mine. Um, She did Brother Joe one for his bowling. And it is absolutely gorgeous. And let me show you how talented her and her husband are. She told me to send her my daughter's. Um, logo. Because my daughter does hair and nails too. So I did. I want to show you the actual logo first. And then show you what they came up with. Okay. This is her logo. Come on focus. 
It says All qualified right, pass. And then this is what. But she instead of her saying it claws by Chaz, Chastity wanted to say nailed by Chaz. And this is what they came up with. So they are extremely talented. Come on, phone. I want mine to say purple princess. Crochet and soap. Or sew and crochet. There it or is. Whatever it is. So, I mean, they nailed it to the T. Good night, Aldro. Have a good night. Thank you for coming by. So, there, she's um, getting it painted now. And this is a set that she did for a lady that ordered from us. My shirt is purple. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm getting from Chad. Yep. No, Sandrine ain't starting no channel. She just raised everybody's lives. Yeah, yeah. I, ain't, I, I can't do the channel thing. But my, my craft room going to be hooked up when I get through doing everything I need to do. But no, no channel for me. It's too much work. I ain't got time. I, I, I stay sick too much. And uh, channel. Yes, Gina. She, it's in um, Mobile right now. She's doing everything out of her house. They have a two-bedroom apartment, and she's got the extra bedroom set up as her workspace. Um, and she did these labels here for me to put on our thank you cards. Oh, she after my hold all this purple. Yeah, Gina, if you want anything, you can just email me. Um, then I send everything to her. I'll send I'll send your invoice and then I email her everything that you want and um she mails everything out. Oh, she does some awesome nails. Let me see if I got some pictures of her nails that she's done. She can do whatever you want. If not, I can message her right quick and tell her to send me some pictures. Maybe she sent them on Messenger. And she does an amazing job on nails. Oh, let me show y'all this little set here she did for a girl. And it comes with a purse. Mm -mm, come oh, on, right. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's that's cute. And she she got the whole outfit from the vinyl shop. That's pretty. Your granddaughter sells things she makes on the cricket that you gave her. Yeah. I need to get her to do my nails. But mine's so dry and brittle.
and they also do customized tennis shoes. Oh, I like that. I like that. She did them shoes. Her wife did with airbrush. Oh, okay. She draws the design and then airbrushes it. Let me get her to send some nail 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 pictures. Gina, are you in mobile? Welcome in, Lisa with Lady Bird Loves. How are you doing? It's 2 30 a.m. and you're up. You know she's a night owl. Yeah. She's supposed to be doing me something with one of my shirts. Um that's doing some dealing with the airbrush and stuff like that. It's supposed to be a surprise. Yeah. And she seen last weekend week yeah, last weekend she said it's getting time to redo your hair. Your dark's starting to come back. <laughs> Lisa, what you doing up at 2.30 in the morning? I don't even know what size look I have with this. I don't know, tell them. Angela says, what state are you in, Lady Bird? Only 9.30 here in North Carolina. Sandrine, what's the name of that yarn you winded? Mama J wants to know. Uh, uh, peaches and cream or whatever the other name is. Lily Sugar and Cream? Yeah. Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton? So I was making something with it, but then I thought about oh, it. Hope you feel better, Lisa. Hope that pain goes away. Girl, don't talk about no pain. I don't want to hear about it tonight because I don't want to hate feel none. You using your uh yarnologist too? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking this uh this shrug because I got a dress that's got spaghetti straps. Mm-hmm. And I'm making this, and then once you fold it in half, you leave it open so far in the middle, and then you had a little sleeve. Oh, okay. And you had it, yeah. Making a shrug. Yeah. Southern thing, that's right. We're southern down here. <laughs> oh, yeah, we country. We from that country. We country. We're dirty south. Country. Yeah, I hope your pain gets better. Me too, Chad, because I've been going through it. She says, sorry, Sandrine, blame Chad and Jeannie. They asked. Huh? She says, sorry, Sandrine, blame Chad and Jeannie. They asked. <laughs> Maybe what? What we south? From the south? Huh? Mm -hmm. Welcome in, Donine. How are you? You just got back from the cottage. Yeah, next weekend, my husband and I are going to, um, we're going fishing next weekend since it's Hell Memorial Day. With that. No, thank you. Here's some here that she's done. 
I don't know how long you like your nails, but she can do them in any length, any style, any design. And then she mail them to you. You put them on yourself? No. You have to go oh. to her. <laughs> I had a lady. I seen a lady. Now it is a girl here in um Montgomery that do acrylic um nails that you glue on with just the glue. Mm -hmm. Here are some longer ones that she did. See, I couldn't do nothing with them. I'd be lost. I wouldn't be able to crochet or nothing. I had something long like that before now used to work. Oh no. <laughs> I used to crochet with them too. I like shorties. <laughs> there are some there. Yeah. That's even too long. You have your natural nails. Yeah, she can do the gel. Um I don't Christy because my nails are so dry and brittle. I'm scared if I get them done, they, mine will grow and they'll break right off. They'll grow and break right off. All right, Lisa, I hope you feel better. From time to time when she comes up to visit, she'll bring her stuff and she'll do mine. Tell her to make some of the ones that, uh, that you ain't got to put on, just make them and then smell them off and then we glue them on. <laughs> um, it's a it's a girl that she went to school with in Montgomery that does the acrylic press on nails. Cause you know when you go to the store, you can't always find what you're looking for. Even though I ain't saying I want them per se. Yeah, I couldn't I mean, work with long nails either, Gina. She when every time she's done mine she said mine ain't no need you even doing your nails because i want them just right above my finger i don't want nothing long i want them short <laughs> yeah i can't my nails peel but i am taking a vitamin now for hair skin and nails so i'm hoping that that helps i, got I asked my vitamins. sister me and her was talking and I said something to her about it and she said hers have always done that too. So it's got to be something in our genes. But I'm taking a hair, skin, and nail vitamin now every day. Yours are longer than that? Wow. Yeah, she has the gel polish. I know a lot of people with natural nails will get gel polish because it does make them stronger. She does have the, the gel polish and stuff that she uses. When she was um, sick and couldn't do nothing, everybody kept calling her. And then when she finally was able to start back doing them, She's been, she's had appointments every day, either hair or nails. Okay, Gina, that'll work. I said next time she was up here, I was going to let her do mine and just let them grow out. And maybe that will help strengthen my nails. We have nail salons here in Selma, but I have the one that used to, I used to get mine done at were really, really good. But they've gone to the wolves now. And it, it got to where every time I go, I couldn't use the, the nail tech that I wanted. And somebody else was doing them. And they was always nicking my fingers. And that crap hurts. Oh, Jen, the lady that did yours didn't come back after closing for the virus. Mm. Ours never shut down. Ours stayed open. And they was only letting so many in 
and you had to have a mask and stuff on. Now, what I do need to go get done is my feet. <laughs> I look like I've been kicking rocks. <laughs> Why do you say you look like you've been kicking rocks? Yeah, Christy, and she, that, that's what I don't like. My husband said that's what's wrong with my nails now. Why are they peeling and stuff? Plus, I used to be a nail biter. I'm still a nail biter. Wow, Gina, you went to her for over 10 years. And see, that's that's the thing. You get used to one person, and then all of a sudden, they're gone. Yep, they just want to keep grinding and grinding and grinding. And I don't like mine real, real thick either. I like them to look as natural as they possibly can. Now, if I'm going to do a tutorial or something like that because mine looks so bad, I'll get some press-on nails and glue them on just to get through the tutorial. What movie was you, was you watching, Zach? Yeah, That's I'll give my, I'll give your information to my daughter, and she can definitely call you. She's good, and she has a lot. And I'm not saying it because she's my daughter either. Because Lord knows if she wasn't, I wouldn't refer nobody to her. And she's got a lot of patience. She's got the patience of Job. Daddy Daycare, oh yeah. <laughs> That's a good movie. My husband just got finished watching Evan Almighty. I don't know what he's in there watching now. I have to shut the door when I go live or y'all be able to hear the TV. Ever since he got that Peterbilt truck and it's loud, he comes home and he turns that TV up to 20 something or 30. It's because it's is affected his hearing. Oh yeah, Daddy Daycare is funny, funny, funny. Now, girls' trip is funny. Woo. Is it? I think it. I've I think I've seen girls' trip. I'm not a hundred percent sure. <laughs> you don't know if you've seen it. We watch so many, we have to watch part of it to see if we've seen it before or not. Well, Queen that's Latifah, how we was yesterday. So Queen that's Latifah what we did. And, um, Tiffany Haddish and Jada Pickett Smith. And, uh, I think we've seen it. And Sandra Day says she had I'm going to say this yesterday. one part, you might remember it. Uh, you got a, you got a grapefruit. Hmm. You got a great, you got a grapefruit. You got a grapefruit. You remember that part in the movie? Mm -mm. Right, I ain't seen it. Either. I'm gonna have to check it out. My dad heard me laughing from the living room, so he came into my room and he's like, "Are you okay?" Then he watched a bit of it with me. Yeah, daddy daycare is real good. Zanita said, laugh out loud, Sandrine. She know what I'm talking about when I say you got a grapefruit. So, so you see, you seen it. Yeah. If I just say that one thing, you watched it, you know what I'm talking about. That's what we did yesterday after he took his nap. And they go to New Orleans in the move. Okay. Yeah, they do go to New Orleans. They go to the s Fest. Oh, yes, I have seen that. I have seen that. Yes, I sure have. And Dana says, laugh out loud, laugh out loud, that movie. <laughs> I, you got a grapefruit. That's why I say that. You got a grapefruit. 
another movie to watch off of Netflix. I'm today we we watch so much stuff. We've been you we've been watching a lot of stuff off of Amazon Prime though. Mm. And that's what we did yesterday. And we'd say, like, well, have we seen this? And no, so we watched the movie with Wesley Snipes in it yesterday that we hadn't seen. Um, hard something. Welcome in, Vijay. How are you? His name says, Have you tried that tea? LOL. <laughs> she into TV now, Dana. Who, what she said? She said, Have you tried that tea? LOL. No, we just ain't into kinky stuff. Zach says, Well, I know I won't be watching the Barbie movie. <laughs> Welcome in, Maritza. How are you? Dana, have you tried it? Why are you asking me these questions? <laughs> right. Tried it. If I did, I wouldn't say it yay or nay. Really? Right. You're tripping. What's she thinking? Like, T Roy, right what you been thinking? Yeah, we have 49 thumbs. Can we get 50? Can we at least get 50? Shoot, before you get 50, be trying to get out here. Yeah, it's 848. Liz, if you're still listening, go ahead and um drop your link. Yeah, it was definitely a movie kind of night yesterday and night for us last night. And we didn't feel like doing much of nothing. But when you watch Girls Trip, again, be in the bed. Oh, good, Sunita. There's 50. Yes. <laughs> you heard me, Jeannie. Mm -hmm. You heard me. What? Then <laughs> Go back and see my boy. <laughs> we do need to plan a Girls Trip, though. But not the kind you're talking about. <laughs> we need to plan a... Um, uh, uh, girls crochet trip. Oh, Sanita, you finished watching A Woman in the Window? I seen that. Is it good? And Zach said, Has anyone seen A Dog's Way Home? And is it good? Miss Anita said, where she pees, LOL. And Dana says, yes, girl trip. Okay, Liz. She said, give her till 710. Getting ready. I seen um the woman in the window on Netflix, and I was wondering if it was a good movie or not. And Gina says yes, and it's good. I'm gonna have to watch that. We have direct TV, but same old same old. Plays on it. I hadn't had my evening coffee yet. Evening coffee. I drink coffee every morning, every evening. Uh -huh, Dana man. says, "Wow, I spelled yeast, yeast, yeast." <laughs> And Sunita says, get on the couch, Liz. Sunita said the movie was good, but the book was better. Yeah, sometimes the books are better than the movie. I think it's kind of like a, 
coming up soon. Coming on like coming a suspense soon. movie, Kim. From what I read in the little synapses of it, it's like she witnesses a murder. And her world is turned upside down because of it. I don't listen to ebooks, Mama J, but I need to start. I do have some on my Kindle uh, out on my phone that I watch, that I read. See, Jamie, Chastity and them told me about just uh, who killed Sarah. And I tried watching that. And I just could not get into it. And they told me I have to get past the first couple of ones before it gets really interesting. And Sunita says it is a suspense movie. The Women in the Window, uh, Kim. It's a suspense. But yeah, I do um, read some books on my Kindle. Because with Amazon Prime, you get a lot of free ones. So I put them in my Kindle. Yeah, I read a lot of books on my Kindle. Mine be all romance, though. So. And Mama J says, I'm not really a boob tube idiot box watcher. You know, that's what they call TV, the, the ignorant box. Angie says, who killed Sarah? You have to watch. Yeah, I'm going I'm to get into it. It's another one on Netflix that is really, really good. Um, I got to look it up. It's called, it's something in the dark. And y'all might know y'all might know what it what I'm referring to. Um it's about a blind girl. Lots of twists and turns, yeah. Mm. Well, that's not it. Oh, yeah. We can have our free own Granny D Audible. I read a chapter to my squirrels daily. I have lots of books in my playlist. And Mama J says, have you read anything good lately, Froggy? Yeah, Christy, the one I'm talking about is a, um, it is a, um, series. Let me see if I can get signed in on Netflix right quick. New phone, so I have to sign in on every darn thing. Now, see, I used the wrong email. I did. I was able to get in, y'all. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'll tell you in just a minute. It it's a real good show. And, and I'm gonna be honest with you, when I first started watching it, I couldn't stop. Now, I actually fell asleep on it. It's called In the Dark. And it has 
Two seasons so far. It is really good. It's called In the Dark. Netflix. In the Dark. Oh, Lord, Christy. We need to put you in a bubble right now. <laughs> so need to say, oh, yeah, in the dark is good. It's real good. I read all of, all of the Anne... Of Green Gables books in the series. I read all the Little Women books, Little House on the Prairie, a bunch. Now, I don't know if my uh, mama still had them or not, but I had every book of the Little House on the Prairie. I love Little House on the Prairie books. I'll have to go back and listen to yours, Granny D. That can be my ebook. <laughs> Sunita, I really think it's going to be another season to um, In the Dark because of the way it ended. Oh, they've added an 80s movie channel. On Roku, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to probably download it on mine. You read that whole little house series, and it's on your YouTube channel, Granny D. Welcome in, Wendy. How are you? Looks like June the twenty third. I miss something. I've watched both seasons, Christy. June 23rd is when the next season is going to come out. I will, Granny D. And Wendy says she's listening to the Little House on the Prairie on your channel, Granny D. Christy says she's taking donations for bubble wrap. <laughs> I'm doing good, Wendy. Doing good. No complaints this way. Not that it'd do any good anyway. So next weekend, the hubby and I are going fishing. I'm going to try to do a little recording of it. Oh, good. June 23rd. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. And Granny D says, thanks for listening, Wendy. Who crocheting with black yarn ain't no joke. Oh, uh-uh. I have to be in here when I crochet with black and have my other light and this one shining right down on me. Sunita so says she don't have any bubble wrap, but she has 40 pounds of stuffing. <laughs> we can stuff her cake with Sunita. Sunita, so how many blue hats did you end up making for Lion Brand Not Hate? I mean, for Hat Not Hate. Good night. Uh, okay, Granny D. Love you too. She said, not in the dark, Sandrine. She said, black yarn ain't good to work with in the dark. It ain't. 
Oh, right. wow. You sent 105 blue hats. That is wonderful, Sunita. There's Sabrina. Welcome in, Sabrina. How are you? You have 100 more to go. When's the deadline? And Christy said that might work. Sunita, we'll just we'll just make her fluffy. We'll put a lot of padding on her. That way, if she falls, she won't hurt nothing. And Vijay saying night, Granny. Liz was asking, had any of us seen you, Sabrina? She'll be going live in the next nine minutes. Oh, she put something in the chat. Oh, wow. Yeah, Sabrina, she said, I love fishing. Look, that's the only hook that I will swap for a crochet hook. It's still a hook. <laughs> Not me. I ain't about to I fish love to fish. We're going in the boat. I'm we ain't going to the river, though, I'm because the river is going to be busy being at this Memorial Day weekend. We're going to one of the lakes. You heard me. You heard me, Jeannie. Huh? I said I can tell you. Everybody in my family like to fish, but three people I know for sure that won't go. Oh, you was busy with doctors and life. Okay. Like yeah, all I don't. My cousins, mm -mm. All my cousins, aunties, and uncles that go, but I know three people for sure that won't go. Me, my sister, and one of my cousins. We ain't going. And Christy says season one 2017, season two 2019, season three 2021 takes forever for a new season to come out. Yeah. I know it's been taking a little longer for them to get them out, but it seemed like that's every two years with them. Have it, do any of y'all watch that new show Tyler Perry has out called The Oval? No, I don't. It like is a soap, soap opera. I don't do soap operas. I would call that one more of a soap opera. What about the one that came out we call Sisters? Hey, Diana with Daigo Crochet. How are you? Christy says she crochets while the hubby fishes. I ain't going. I, I can't stand that fresh water smell. I ain't going. I sit in the car. Oh, I definitely understand, Sabrina. I wrote the circle log. What circle you wrote, Joe? Oh, you wrote the circle movie? Oh, I see it you too, Brother Joe. Then Sunita said the circle question mark. What circle you wrote, Joe? No, we didn't play bingo, Sabrina. We just been chatting. We play Dream Go Bingo Tuesday night. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're actually going this weekend coming up, uh, says Dana, because it's Memorial Day weekend. It'll actually be the first time we've been fishing in some years. We got a big boat. Got a big ski boat, but... Um, It's just taking time out to go. Lucifer is coming back too, Sunita said. Hadn't watched Lucifer. I'm going to have to see about that one too. Welcome in, Boucher. How are you? Yeah, going to have to watch that one too. But we're going this weekend. I'm going to try to do some... um recording of it <laughs> we got all our rod and reels and i fish with um i fish with rod and reel and a jig pole a jig pole is like cane pole it just telescopes in and out 
and I fish for everything, catfish, brim, white perch, which is crappie in Alabama, bass. And all the bass I've ever caught in my life, I've never caught them on a, on a um, spinnerbait. Yeah, we got, I'm going to sign, I'm going to do ours online next week and print them off. Miss Anita said, I might be away from YouTube to catch up on my shows. You want perch and catfish log? Yeah, white perch is some good eating. I like brim too, but I like my brim to be small. Where I can cut that head off, I can gut them, I can scale them, and I can fry them whole. And make sure that tail is crispy. And I we well, we do all our own catfish. He skins them and I fillet them. I, well, he skins them. I cut the heads and gut them and fillet them. And we might catch something. We might not. I think it's just uh, us getting out doing something. Which I can go sit on the water all day without catching anything. It's just the peace and the quiet. Sabrina, you didn't do anything wrong. That was done by accident. A lot of times when people are on their phones, it's very easy to accidentally put somebody in timeout without even knowing about it. Yeah, Sandra, I just catch what I can. And if I catch something, I catch something. If I don't, I don't. But that's why. Nothing you did wrong. Somebody got put in time. Grand D put somebody in time out here tonight. Ingrid. Um, by accident, trying to get her phone off of her, out of her clamp. Christy said you need a neck light for that black. <laughs> I ain't lying. I need somebody. I'm barely making it. I'm going uh, to have to go cut the big light on in the room in a minute, babe. I'm barely making it. She going to need glasses. I do. I need them for real. What What stitch are you doing? <laughs> Half double. I can't see that to do nothing else. Look. That's Hobby Lobby yarn. Sugar wheel cotton solids. It's solid too, baby. Solid as a rock. Look how slow I'm crocheting. Oh, you'll be gone. Yeah, it just to... depends on Nightbot's mood, Sabrina. If you use too many emojis, then the hill the Nightbot will let you know, especially if you're not in blue. Take my crazy mitt while I'm sitting here with y'all. I'm gonna cut this other light on. Sandra said help. she watched your channel earlier today, Brother Joe, and she loved it. And Christy said you making her eyes strain for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that right, Chris. Chris, I just cut my other light on, so it's better now. And Boucher said she don't on. even use dark colors because she can't see them. I ain't lying, Chris. It ain't no joke, baby. Sandra, you see your thing hanging up back there? I got to mail it to you. Huh? I see it. It's so pretty. It's so sparkly. Ooh, child. I'm in love. I'm in love with a stripper. Oh, that's supposed to be stayed silent, but. Yeah. That's pretty. I'm actually going to do you another one in uh, lavender. But yeah, but I gotta mail that to you. I gotta get some wrap to wrap it in because Iris has got broke in the mail. Or I'm gonna put on there fragile. Yep, fragile. Oh, my hair sticking up. Shoot mine too, John Ford. Yeah, 
Yeah, thank you, thank you. That's uh, my stitch marker wall hanger pattern that I made. It's on Ravelry if anyone. You can't have it because it's mine. It's all, all mine. Is Liz live yet? Nope, I ain't seen it's, it come across my it's screen. It's 9 11. Yet. I ain't seen it come across my screen yet. Yeah, Sabrina. Um, Brenda actually did hers with a piece of driftwood that she got when they went on their little mini vacation to the beach. Turquoise or coral is pretty. Would be pretty. And actually be pretty to do it in both colors. Yeah, like my blanket. Uh oh, wait. Sandra says she's going to make one in mint green or pale yellow. That would be pretty too. And Daigo says Liz is not live yet. No, she ain't lying. Look like this. Oh, yeah, that is pretty. I might be able to hook you up with some lavender and turquoise. With some purple and turquoise. That's my blanket. It's uh, queen size. Oh, that's neat, Christy. I ain't never thought that would make a pretty curtain, though. Mm -hmm. Just make you can do it. You just do multiples of four plus three and make it as wide as you want to. And that's what, um, I'm gonna go big for just a second, Sandrine. That's what this is done using the same stitch that's in the stitch marker wall hanger pattern. This is done in it also. Um, but I'm going to be releasing it hopefully by the end of the week. Um, I got to finish the tutorial and edit it and put it all together. It's so pretty. Yes, Sabrina. Beachy colors. Yes, yes, yes. So this is the Spotted Owl Pocket Scarf. Um, now, of course, you don't have to make it as wide as I made mine. You can always make it smaller, not as wide. See, this light right here better. And it took me, if I calculate the hours, it probably took me maybe eight hours to make it. yeah it does not have a hood sabrina but you could definitely add a hood to it no it's not a jacket with a hood i just got it pinned up up there at the top um but it's a scarf pocket it's a pocket shawl pocket scarf I need to finish mine. Mine is, mine is high. And Mama J says she likes coral and eggplant together. And you know what, Mama J? I got some eggplant purple and I got some coral. Here go my I love blanket, coral. Shawl. That houndstooth blanket. This ain't no blanket. This is a pocket shawl. Oh, is it? Yeah, Oh, I love that Sandrine. Look, that'd be good to wear on them cool nights to the football game. Roll tide, baby. <laughs> Always. Oh, you in uh any type of yarn you want, you can make with that. Um, I use a four weight, but you could definitely use a three weight. You could even use five weight if you wanted to. You could use it with sparkle yarn. Um, that that I made this out of is that Karen Simply Soft Party. And it is soft. I think I got some of that too. And it sparkles. Yes, Christy, that is Hound's Tooth Baby, and she is the Hound's Tooth Queen. Yep, I made a hot, I made all kinds of stuff. Look at my hot pad I made. Look at that. I got to put it in the kitchen. 
That's why she needs a channel. It's my own design, baby. So she can do it and she can write patterns and everything else. Yep. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it on another color too. I think I'm gonna do my next one. Gonna be purple and white. Then I'll make another one and probably red and white. I don't know. Sabrina Hobby Lobby has Sandrine show that band on that yarn you just picked up. Oh, I got one right here. They sell the yarn B sugar wheel cotton. And they also have it in the sparkle. Yeah, they got it in the sparkle. I got the sparkle in the room. And this is one of theirs here. And this that those colors, your pinks and your grays. And it is 335 yards per little cake. But they do have it in the sparkle, too. Let me, I'm going to go get one of my sparkles. And Sandra said, if she can make a channel, Sandrine, so can you. I can't do it. I be sick too much. I can't do it. Hold on. Oh, Christy, that would be awesome. Okay. Hey, I'll be right back. Okay. There you go. Oh, that is pretty. Yarn B Sugar Wheel Cotton Sparkle. This color right here is Pretties. P R E T T I E S. Pretties, please. That's this one. Pretties, please. And then this one right here is called Just Relax. Liz just going live now, but this Just Relax. And I think I got them when they were thirty they five ninety nine, but I got them when they were thirty percent off. Yeah, but you get it when it's thirty percent off and it's cheaper. Yeah, that's what I say. Liz are gone live now. Yeah, that, that sparkle yarn is gorgeous. It's everything well, sparkle yarn to me are Yeah, Chris, is 100% cotton. Well, 100 you know, cotton. the sparkle's not going to be. It's going to be so much this one of is, another brand of another kind. Yeah, this one is 97% uh, cotton and 3% metallic polyester. So the, so the metallic polyester is just your sparkle. Yeah. But yeah, the sugar wheel cotton is uh, now these are 100 percent cotton oh Just yeah the this, sugar wheel black cotton in the solids yeah the black one i got is 100 percent cotton there it is and it's a three weight this one is a i think all of them are threes Yeah, just a three. This one right here. A three. Yeah, all on the three. Mm-hmm. Christy, I made a virus blanket in the Alabama colors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. that would be nice. And I love the way the virus blanket worked up switching out the colors. But I use the crimson red, the black, and the gray. I ain't adding no white to it. I ain't want white no blanket. <laughs> yeah. And Sabrina Veronica with Still the Show Crochet and Shelf just released a tutorial 
on her new um summer top called the fan lace tunic and i'm working on it now and this is how it's coming out it's shaped like a t because that's your arms Jeannie, here go the finished product. I gotta show it. And I'm trying to I'm I'm right actually doing the pattern for writing out the pattern for. Oh, Sandrine, that is gorgeous. And did you just do two panels and put them together? One panel. One panel. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, Christy, that would be beautiful. She said she'd love to make a hat and scarf set and the hounds to stitch. And Sabrina says she loves that rainbow sherbet color yarn you showed. Rainbow. Oh, okay. That pretty pink. Look, this is what I'm getting, Jeannie. Yeah. Now I'm going to do a blanket in that. I think I got like four or six balls. She can have all of them. Joe, I'm going to kick you out. He said he made a turd in the Alabama Colors Law. He a hater because his team lost to nah, Alabama. Colors. That was Alabama the prettiest the turd ball. he ever dookied. You know a solid one without the sparkle. Oh, that's pretty. I love them colors in that. This one is called Spark. Sprinkle, sprinkles on top. This one. you got, uh oh. Then you got this gray. Okay, Liz is live now, y'all. Yeah, Liz live. I'm going to post her link in the chat. And we can all go over and raid Liz. Blueberry. Liz does crochet and diamond painting, y'all. There's a purple color right here. Velvet. Velvet something. And there's her link coming up. Ain't no hate my blood. I'm just messing with you, sis, Jeannie. You know that I love you. I know, Brother Joe. But that had you to just, be the prettiest one you ever done did. I'm telling you. Yeah, by Jay's uh, Hobby Lobby has some really good yarn. You have to know which week to. Oh, Sandrine, that's coming along good. And see, you got your setup, you got your mannequin. Now you just need to do a YouTube channel. I can't do it. I ain't gonna be able to do it. I still got some yarn I got to put up there. It's on the flow steel and bag. So you set your extra bedroom up in a um one of your extra bedrooms up at your craft room? Yes. It's a craft room. Okay, Christy. Yeah, we fixing to get off of here and go over to Liz's house. Um, yeah, Her link Liz. is in the chat. Okay, Daigo. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, Hobby Lobby, you have to catch this. them when they have that 30% off week. Nancy, Nancy said, nice setup, Sandrine. Thank you. And Wendy Bell said, sure, you can do a YouTube channel. I can't do it. I'm too sickly. Every time, time to go live, I'll be sick. I can't do it. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming in tonight. I really do appreciate it. Again, I will see y'all Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time where we will play Dream Go Bingo. Make sure if you have not um, submitted numbers that you go and watch the Dream Go Bingo update video and leave your numbers in that video. Um, and I will get them and I will write them down. Um, again, thank y'all so very much for coming by and spending this past two and a half, almost two and a half hours with me. I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing all of y'all next Tuesday. This Tuesday coming up, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, where we will play Dream Go Bingo. I will see y'all then. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.